100,000, he will bring it. When the man died, the son came, he said, oh, I'm not a fool. My father was giving me all these things because maybe we have bewitched him, but me, I'm not a fool. So he rebelled against the new king who had come. So the king said, ah, why are you rebelling? And then we will show you where power lies. So they ganged up again. That's when they brought Elisha to prophesy. And Elisha said, eh, bring me a minstrel. Uh-huh. And then, he, and then he, he wanted to face the king that if it wasn't for Jehoshaphat, he wouldn't have minded that king. Because his father was somewhere and he himself is also somewhere. And they went to battle. The king, of Moab, Moab, the king of Moab, he saw that he couldn't fight with these Israelites at all. Hey, he got 700 swordsmen. They tried to break through the part where the Moabites were, but they couldn't break through. He realized that Charlie, he's done for. The Bible says he lifted up his son who should, should reign in his stead. The boy who will be his heir. And pushed him against the wall and slaughtered him and offered him for burnt sacrifice. Huh? When the Israelites, these people, three kings and their people saw that, they said, Oh, fight that we are fighting. Meanwhile, they would have fought, fought to even kill that son if he was in the battle. But the fact that the father himself has taken his own son and plastered him on the wall and slaughtered him, the thing was too much. It was just too much for them that it's like he's too detested or some way. It's like a father himself has killed his son. Oh, it's too much. Let's go. They they returned. They just went back. It released a power to stop the battle that was against him. If this church is going to go from strength to strength and cover the entire building and cover beyond it, have branches here and there. We must have our sons and our daughters who are in this church to make sacrifices and give themselves to go somewhere else, give themselves to go to, we, we have people in Achimota, to go away, go to Abeka, Abeka Israel, go to Bubuashi, go to Mamprobi, go to different places to advance the church, to bring in the great harvest. For the master. <laughs> My relay man, are you happy to be in this position that the relay is with you? Look at your left hand. Instead of holding it with your right hand, your left hand is holding it on top of your iPad and your phone with your watch and bangles and trainers and things. With your beard, you are now going to Baba every Saturday. Dreaming. You have now got a beloved. You are preparing for marriage. <laughs> you have now got fans. Scorpion. <laughs> Is that your nickname? Scorpion. <laughs> Scorpion. No, I, well, I, yeah. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. Yes, you are now selling cars and making money. You used to say, Lord, if you make me sell one car one month, you have made my, my, my month, you have made my day. Now you are selling cars three a week, four a week. Hey! So you cannot buy, and to come to church, cry, it's like, oh, church, oh, bishop, we are coming, we are coming. <laughs> oh, Bishop. <laughs> Bishop. When people are trying to coax me, then they stretch my name. <laughs> Bishop. <laughs> it's like, hey, my B- Bishop. You are stretching my name. Your car business is booming. Your marriage is on. You don't have time for God. Before we think of outreach on Saturday and crusade. Hey, when we say we have crusade, it's as if you are not a member of the church. You haven't heard this type of say. And I saw no more, I saw no crusade work. Almost see more work. Almost see more work. Almost see more work. Almost see. They say they have a crusade. 
somewhere around Lakeside or Madima, somewhere. I mean, I don't know the place. But Bishop, Bishop, Bishop was saying it, but me and my dear Papa. Oh, really? You didn't listen well, eh? Is that so? Sacrifice releases power. Yes. When Rollins was became the leader of the coup that ousted the AF um, uh, SMC two, SMC two. There was SMC one, SS, SMC two. Yes. He did the first coup. He didn't succeed. They arrested him. While he was in prison, his other cronies broke through and brought him out. And they overcame and he became the head of state. When he even came, he had plaster all over his fingers. I think, I don't know what they did that his fingers were not, he had sores all over here. When they arrested him, he should have heard his speeches. We were alive those days, so we heard them. Leave my men, leave my men and take me deal with me. I'm the one who is the main thing here. Leave my men. So they arrange some six or so guys whom, who have been arrested. They are aiding and abetting such a crime and such a, a, a mutiny. So they are going to court martial them and sentence them. He said, leave them and take me. Hey! The speeches of this leave them and take me. I am the one to blame. They have nothing to do with this. Take me and if you want to uh, uh, crucify me, I don't know what, what, what uh, uh, execute me, then take me, but not them. Leave them. These, my men, leave them. It, 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 it released a power that made the entire Ghana, not, not just politicians, but Ghana, we rallied behind him. Yes. Students started writing on the walls. Let the, 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 these people, yeah, Junior Jesus, JJ, Junior Jesus, JJ, Junior Jesus, like Junior Jesus, who has come to give his life for a powerful cause like this. Hey! He had, he had, a power had been released to have followers and convince people when he speaks in his speeches. There are no, it's like, um, Plans are far advanced to ensure that um, our development partners come to our aid to uh, complete our vision of year of roads. You see, the guy is reading, he's not even sure of what he's saying. Because he's not, it's, a, it's like it's not from his heart. That's why he's looking and development partners and this type of stakeholders. When you hear them in the speeches, you know that it was written. Stakeholders, you know, plans are far advanced, you know, this type of, to ensure a piece of the national cake, this type of, those words, they are all words that we knew them, I mean, more than 30 years ago. Yeah. Word salad. But out came a young man, 29 Almost 30 years old. And when I look at these 29 year old, I say, ah, so this man was just like you. Eh? How? Hey, I remember a particular speech, I think the very first one or so, when he came on. He said, um, something, something, intoler, into, inter, English language, English language. Like he, he's, reading, he's reading the speech, but the words are mixing in his mouth and he just. Like a normal human being says that, oh, English language near a complex crowd or do in Kamehameha from Tun China in Kasa. It endeared him to our hearts. But when somebody comes to say, leave the men and take me, do you see? At a point, it stares people and makes them love him and like him and want to follow him and whatever he says, they want to do it. I'm not saying that the coup was a, a blessing. I, I, I don't know. But I'm sure it, it has come to pass. We are here still. We are discussing it in history. But I'm showing you that 
there comes somebody uneducated, not a politician, and without the jargon and the language that people give. Even sometimes when they write the speech for him, he puts it aside and says, eh, me, let me speak from my heart. You see, that guy, <laughs> that guy that who mentioned somebody's name, he's the reason for all this problem that we are talking about. Yes. But you see, when you come, oh, Bishop, I really love God, I really want whatever, whatever, and then I want to be one of those uh, shepherds. And so on. Sometimes you have people who are supposed to be shepherds, which most official. You know, there's, a, there's a, an outline for a center meeting or center meeting today when you can say, um, uh, oh, my phone cry is going off. Eh? Do you have a phone? So I send it to you and then I, I'll send it to you because I don't have the message. If, if my phone dies, I'm finished. So let me send you the message so that when my phone dies, I can use your phone to preach. And then in free wakumem. In free work, man. It's not on your heart. It's Musa, or, or he's just, you know, he doesn't think of the people. He doesn't like them. He doesn't love them. He just likes the position of shepherd and pastor, which is very prestigious. Won't do any outreach. Won't visit anybody. Won't pray for anyone. Just on Sunday, say, uh, uh, it's time for church now. Ah, last week, one more me. This week, uh, if, you make, uh, if you do, I'll beat you people. <laughs> mm. You have to come here. Your mom target. I have a target. You are not making me meet my target. You last week, we almost hit our target. You alone, you didn't come. This week, if you don't come here, I will come home and you will see what I'll do to you. Hurry up and come. Hurry up and come. Hurry up and come. That's why people don't easily follow you because they can't find somebody who is making sacrifices for them. Are not in your head. Yes. We have to go to have to make a lot of sacrifices. When you look in the Bible, you see some enemies of sacrifices. When Jesus was about to go on the cross, he told the disciples that I'm going to they will crucify, they will kill me. Matthew 16, 21, thereabouts. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. You can't do this. You can't go and die. What do you want me? You see, what he was doing, he was standing against the sacrifice. But Jesus saw who was behind it. He said, Satan, Satan, get thee behind me. Satan is against sacrifices. Satan and satanic agents are against sacrifices. If you have to make a sacrifice, make it. If you have to make a sacrifice for God, for Christ, and for the gospel, make it. Don't allow anybody to stand against it and speak and make a comment and say something that dissuades you from making that kind of sacrifice. Are you going again tonight? Hey. You see, the person has not said, don't go. But are you going again tonight? It's not a good question. One day I was going to have a meeting and the, it was a bit getting late. And somebody said that, oh, um, is it coming on? Mm. I said, Mr. Mafaro, I'm be some damn question again. I'm, I'm shy of you. Don't ask me such a question again. I'm very shy of you. Never ask such a question again. But when somebody asks you whether is, is it coming on, you are the leader of the, you are having, you have said you are going to have a meeting. And somebody who is supposed to be yes. part of the meeting is asking, yes. is it coming on? It means that it's quite late too. And reconsider your decision because some of us have work tomorrow. Even though you haven't said that. It gives a discouraging blanket. It 
throws a discouraging blanket on the one who is going to organize the meeting. I said, me faro, me misas a question. And that was the end of such a question from that time. Hmm? Judas is against sacrifices. When the woman Mary brought the alabaster box and wiped his feet with her hair, as she was, the, she poured it, broke it, and then she wiped her feet with Judas was standing there. He said, ah, to what purpose is this waste? Mm. This should have been given to the poor. Mm. It's like, ah. You won't do the thing. Somebody is doing it. You are making a comment and trying to spoil such a sacrifice. So Judas and Judas-like people, do you understand, are the people, and I don't think I like that company. It's like you are in the company of Satan, you are in the company of Judas, and the Antichrist is also against sacrifice. If you read Daniel, he says that he will stop the daily sacrifices. It's that like any time somebody wants to make a sacrifice for the church and for, the God, for God and for the things of God, somebody is always trying to stop it. It's an antichrist spirit. That's what has reduced the membership in many churches. Where Christians don't rise up to come for prayer meetings, outreaches, Traveling for the master. But we are the same people. We encourage each other. Oh, you can do this course. You can do that course. Something that takes all your evenings. Something that, you know, a, a job that you will never be free even to look to, to see your, 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 your relatives or your family. And we'll be encouraging. As for that one there, there's money in it. But when you take that job, you won't see your children. You won't see your husband. You won't see your wife. But it's like for that sacrifice, we can make it. I know people. You may not want me to say it, but I know people, they work. Family is here, they are there. And, and, and it's okay. Because that one, there's money in it. A lady who lived outside the country. Her husband and children were in Ghana. In Europe, she was there for years till the man died. Come sometimes, come and visit and go. Come. And the, the marriage was not, was, was not spoiled. You want to go back? You want to go and sit down? Ah, okay, you are fine. You preach with me. These are, there are enemies that spoil. Sometimes even, well, you see, when Peter was saying to Jesus that you shouldn't go to the cross, eh? do you think he was, he hated Jesus? He was saying it out of some kind of concern and love or care. Peter, will, but Jesus saw within the West that Satan is the one speaking. Because if you stop this thing that I'm going to do, this sacrifice I'm going to do, what will happen to all of you here? What will happen to the salvation of the world? So if, if you, are, you say you are the uh, uh, associate pastor, chief, uh, what? Director of operations. Then you come and say, you are not going to any Jerusalem to die. You are not going anywhere to make any sacrifices. You are, uh, uh, it's forbidden. You cannot do that over my dead body. Hey. Say, hey. And I'm sure Peter thought that because God revealed to him that Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God, he, had, he can extend that hey. privilege to his future mission. Look at people who may come in, and it may be your very, very good friend, good associate, well-meaning person, but if it is stopping the sacrifice for the master, you have to look into it and see what Satan is trying to say. Jesus looked at his own associate and said, get thee behind me. Satan. Not Peter, but Satan. Ah, I thought you said the Lord revealed something to me. Why are you calling me Satan? He didn't leave the church. He, he agreed that, oh, Satan, this one, Satan has spoken. Thank you very much, he went. 
Don't stop sacrifices. Don't stop sacrifices. We are going to make sacrifices to come for weekday services, conventions. This week, is it this week? From Wednesday, we are here with an anointed servant of God, Reverend Steve Mensah of CEM. CEM. Oh, it will be a week to remember. Oh, yes. There will be word here. There will be anointing here. Healing. Miracles. Prophetic speaking into your future. Even for your own benefit. But sometimes Satan prevents you from making a sacrifice that will benefit yourself. Yes. But from today, you are telling yourself that no enemy will prevent me from... Even you yourself cannot be your own enemy to prevent you from making the sacrifice you must make. I'm young men here. God is calling you into full-time ministry. Yes, the young ladies. God is calling you into full-time ministry. You are not too nice for God. Some people think they are too posh and too intelligent. It's like, I'm an A star. Eh? I have to use it for UN or some better organization, not for God and his church. As for the church there, we should take the ones whose head are almost dead. That nice people who speak well or come but are now with tutors and with nice English. Yeah. This type of people is like they, 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 don't, they, don't, they don't fit into the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. They, they fit into a bank. Go share a thing, now share glasses, now share send you a yeah. Stand chat is better for stand chat than Macarius Church. But God is calling young men and young women for the Macarius Church, for the gospel of Jesus, and for the cross of Christ. In our generation, may please start your baton again as we end. Start your bat- the, the, the race really again, please. Please, this time, eh, we have to get to beyond the door. On your max. On your max, my brother. Get set. Look, if you have anything that's going to block, your jacket is not going to help you to run well. You can run with it. Hey, guy. Okay. On your max. Get set. <laughs> Number two. Number three. Number four. Ah. This is what the Lord would like to see with this glorious gospel that has been handed over to us. That we will run with it. We will not stop. Nothing will prevent us. Whatever is in the way, we remove it from the way and we go across. Oh, this glorious gospel. God bless you. God bless you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Me and you, we are going all the way with this gospel. Whatever sacrifice I have to make, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it to pray, to fast, to wait on God, to preach, to witness, to win souls, establish them. I'm going to do it for the Lord. For the gospel. In Jesus name. Clap your hands. Lift your hand and just pray right now. There is a sacrifice. Somebody has to make. You have to make. Pray about it. You have to be. To make sacrifices to advance in God. Don't let Satan stop you. Don't let a spirit of antichrist stop you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Everybody praying, praying, praying. Wherever you are, lift your voice and pray. Man tolo moshika. Labarota sibia handa labada. Yes, Lord. Sacrificing your time, sacrificing your life. Giving your life for this glorious mission. Giving your time for this glorious mission. Giving your children for this glorious mission. 
giving your sons and daughters for this glorious mission, giving your job for this glorious mission. Oh, sacrifices need to be made to advance the cause of Christ. Maro tasayaga, batoli nimiga. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, riyamakatayaga, rima kosanda la matari andalaba. Blessed be God. Do shadara bandele mena. Eria makata yaga. Deria mana. Endelebo shakataria. Bazidelelebo. Rianda la baba. Rama kaparabada. Zentele mekoria mananda rabada. Eba soadaria makata ramada. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God. Oh, Jesus, let us advance this gospel. Let us advance this glorious mission in the mighty name of Jesus. For just a few seconds we have left, I want us to pray for this church. Yes, that we will be more fruitful. And whatever sacrifices we have to make to, to break through and break out, may God lead us to make it. In the name of Jesus, lift your hand and pray. Maru kasadaya, rama kapatara raba zimanaria, rekato akadara laba sikata badori amasanda, ile mekori abazada rabada, nimanda laba zimaderi amana, iko tari amashata labada rima nama, ima kosanda labana rima koade. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Oh Father, mato laba zibadaria, whatever sacrifice we must make, uh, whatever we must give up, uh, whatever we must do, Father. Oh, Lord, we are asking uh, that you give us grace. Grace to make the sacrifices. Grace to advance. Grace to go forward. Grace to go forward. Grace to go higher. Grace to go further. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maronda labakataya. Ima loria makata zaderia bahonde lebede ima koria majanda labada enda la mama the money we must give out the money we must give out the places we must go radande le mosafaya ela maranda labada iko satayagada rama to asadanda labada hey my savior made sacrifices my savior sacrifices life may i sacrifice my life may i give my my life uh, oh jesus for the sake of jesus and for the sake of the gospel maratosa bia bandalaba nema kuadare rapatayaga yanda labada everyone here lord i pray uh, the sacrifices we must make uh, the places we must go uh, the things we must do uh, the things we must give up uh, in the name of jesus mora mahanda mora mahanda idera mata Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Father, we thank you for the wonderful privilege we have to hear your word. We pray for grace. Whatever sacrifices must be placed on the altar, Lord, we pray for grace to place them there. May we lay our lives down for the master. May we lay our children down for the master. May we lay our jobs down for the master. May we lay our leisure down for the master. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. For it is the Lord who advanced Moses and Aaron. Therefore advance your people. Advance your church. In the mighty name of Jesus. And may no Satan or Antichrist spirit or Judas in our lives prevent any sacrifice we must make for the master. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you are here this morning, you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, somebody invited you, but you are not a born-again Christian. As every head is bowed and every eye closed, I want to pray for you before we leave here. Pastor, pray for me. I want to give my life to Jesus wherever you are. Lift up your right hand in the air so I can pray for you. Lift up your right hand in the air. Somebody invited you. You are not a born again Christian. Anybody here like that? Let us all lift up our hands and pray this prayer together. Say after me, Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. I come to you just as I am. Please forgive me for all my sins and wash me with your precious blood. 
Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for me. From today, I belong to Jesus. I will follow Jesus for the rest of my days. Please write my name in the book of life. I am yours forever. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Clap your hands unto the Lord. It's time now for communion. Anytime you are eating the bread and drinking the wine, be reminded that it has taken somebody's sacrifice to bring us to this point. And he is calling on you. Please stand up if you are sitting. He is calling on you. He is calling on me. To also make sacrifices. As we drink this wine. And eat this bread today. May we receive the strength. The fortitude. Because sometimes you come to. You come to the point of making a breakthrough. But a sacrifice must be made to cross over. But it's like the fortitude to cross is not there. Today as we partake of this wine and bread. Just like Jesus prayed in the garden. When he came to, he was at that point. It was a junction. It was at a junction. If he goes, it's a blessing for humanity. If he stays, humanity is lost. He prayed for strength. Even angels came and strengthened him. And he was able to go and meet his faith. Today, God is going to give you an infusion of that same grace to be able to meet whatever you must meet, whatever you must sacrifice and give it up. Hey! Uh, you meet a, a, an old boyfriend, you say, Lord, this has been my downfall for many years, but through the grace you have given to me, I sacrifice him at the altar. It will be the end of all the curse that has been in your life. Father, we thank you for the bread, the body of Jesus that was broken for us. We receive it with thanksgiving in Jesus' name, the body of Jesus. Take this, this is my body, which is broken for you. Drink, this is my blood, That's the blood. That's the blood shed for you. Father, thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you. That he never held back when he knew that his blood will be shed by merciless men. May we never hold back. May we never hold back when you are calling for our lives. When you are calling for our sons, our daughters. Oh, yes. When it, you are calling for our job, our businesses, you are calling for our money. May we never hold back. Jesus, thank you for shedding your blood for us. May that same strength and power be released in our lives as we make sacrifices for you. In Jesus' name, the blood of Jesus. The Lord bless you. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and strength and riches and wisdom and honor and glory and blessing. May these blessings that are activated because of the sacrifice for he that was slain Receive power. Receive power too. He that was slain and made sacrifices, receive riches. Receive riches too. May he that made sacrifices and received wisdom, may you also receive wisdom. The wisdom of God that is beyond any human wisdom. 
He who was slain receives strength. Therefore, may you have strength. Strength in your body. Strength in your organs. Strength in your limbs. Strength in your joints. In the mighty name of Jesus. For because he was slain, he, he, he received honor. Therefore, may you not be denied of honor and favor in the name of Jesus. He received glory and blessing. May all these blessings be yours. May they be yours in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Clap your hands. Celebrate the Lord. You may be seated. Beautiful. If you have your tithe with you today, I'd like you to kindly stand up. And if you have determined to give any offering, any special pledge, also put it in an envelope and just come to me right in front here. Beautiful. Lift your tithe up. Father, bless every tither and bless our tithe today. Thank you for the blessing of strength, wisdom, intelligence to work and to earn money. Thank you for the grace to even give our tithe because we can come to the point of giving tithe but the grace to give it is not even there. But thank you for everyone. Therefore, now let the blessing of the Lord that is showered upon obedient children be showered upon you. Amen. And may God favor you and deliver you from all ill. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Beautiful. What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Madam. What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so many things for me. No rain can no more. Beautiful. time to give an offering. As you plant your seed today, this is our year of seed time and harvest. May you experience a miraculous breakthrough. Amen. You didn't say amen. amen. I told you that this church, you don't like say amen. So, actually I prophesy better when I'm in the second service because they say the amen more spontaneously. God, it is that when I say one, you say the amen well. It, 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 it's it engenders more speakings. Yes. It generates more speakings. Yes. So, receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to bless you. Somebody is receiving a child already. A child is coming. Somebody has two children and has been believing God for a third. Yes. It's coming. Receive it. Somebody has one has been believing God for another. It hasn't come. Receive it. Somebody hasn't got at all and has been believing God. Receive it. May you receive twins in your womb. The name of Jesus. Father, bless every seed. You are giving a thousand. Please, let your offering rise to meet your prophetic expectation. Father, as we lift up our offerings, our seed before you. Oh, maybe you are home, you are on Sweet Melodies or any of these other media and you are given. The Lord is blessing your giving, blessing your hand as you give today. Father, thanks a million for the blessing that meets our giving. May our offering speak for us. May our gift speak for us. A man's gift makes room for him. I pray that our gift today will, will make room for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come forward and put your offering in the bag.
Bless every hand that has given an offering in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. some new books here. We'll be launching them next week. So, please. So, when, I, when I'm, just remind me that we have a launch next week. So, just to encourage you. New books are being released all the time. These are revelations God has given us. Am I okay? Is everything okay? Hello? Okay. The Is there a mic on somewhere? Can you turn off all your mics, please? All right. So, these are revelations that have been given to us, the ministry, to all of us over the years. And by the grace of God, have been written down. So, let us be part of what God is doing. When you get a book, read it. There will always be a sentence or two. That will bless you and change your life. All right? This week is our week of impartation, anointing, deliverance, and breakthrough. Reverend Steve Mensah will be in the house. 